you are welcome to this new video in this new video we are going to discuss about some non traditional types of meditation one of such non traditional type of meditation is a labyrinth meditation a labyrinth is almost a circular or an oval pattern of ways around the center the paths proceed from periphery to the center in a whirling manner when a person moves along the path in the labyrinth and reaches the center he is surprisingly calm and serene there his mind becomes quiet and peaceful as uh, i have said labyrinth meditation is an unusual meditation it is a rare combination of yoga's pranayama sufi's whirling and osho's dynamic meditation it has components from each of uh, the pranayama the sufi's whirling and osho's dynamic meditation it will just specify your thought process it will just specify your unruly mental processes going inside your mind and its practice has a tremendous effect on the internal awakening of a seeker in this video we will discuss a step by step procedure how to go for meditation in a labyrinth we will discuss all these things in this video there are several stages in a labyrinth meditation and first of them is to prepare yourself for entering the labyrinth the first step is entering the labyrinth when you feel pressed by the mental agony anxiety and deviated by any problem and you decide to go for a labyrinth meditation you have to be in a submissive mood this is a method of sublimation of ego you have to sublime your ego first and then you will achieve a lot of energy out of this meditation method you have to be a gatherer of cosmic energy while entering this labyrinth meditation that energy will boost your level and ameliorate everything that disturbs your mind and your peace you surrender yourself to the cosmic powers and should be ready to receive something peaceful in your mind the second stage in labyrinth meditation is that you make a prayer to whom you bow before in whom so ever you believe you have to sublime your ego you have to abandon your ego before that if you do not believe in god or if you do not believe in any supernatural power then in that case you have to think about you you have to enter your core of existence and there you have to abandon your ego the only requirement here is that you should be open to grasp and receive the energy vibration that would arise in your core during the course of this labyrinth meditation in the labyrinth meditation you may enter this uh, labyrinth with shoes or barefoot the choice is with you but uh, when you are barefoot you may feel the earth and your body is more open and sensitive choose the course whichever suits you more the next step in this labyrinth meditation is begin your walk the first step sets you in a receptive mode you have to start your walk inside this uh, labyrinth meditation the labyrinth is uh, made over there and you have to enter labyrinth you may choose any speed as per your suitability the path in labyrinth takes you in succession near and far from the center where there is the destination the center is the destination and the paths because these are the whirling paths they take you sometimes near the center sometimes far away from the center you have to reach the center at the same pace whatever pace you choose is according to your choice but whatever but once you choose the pace you keep it throughout your walking within this labyrinth during the course of walk you go near and far from the center this disturbs the habitual thinking of your conscious mind actually there is a 
actually there is a cliche involved in this labyrinth meditation and this involves the working of your conscious and subconscious mind your subconscious mind does not know the reason your conscious mind knows only the reason the reason is defeated by your walk in labyrinth and that's why they make you move in a series of paths where the reason is defeated here there is something new during the course of your walk just try to go deeper and deeper inside you if you do not believe in deity then you should concentrate inside your core and if you believe in deity then you should surrender your ego before the deity you will feel a change in your internal structure if you believe in deity then feel a compassion of it on you otherwise you may feel your inner space during the walk complete the walk and be ready to enter the center the next stage in labyrinth meditation is entering the center after you complete your all the walks along all the whirling paths you have to enter the center you gradually move towards the center and when you are on the entrance of the center slowly and pleasantly enter it stop your motion there when you reach the center you stop your motion here your body has stopped but your cerebrum but your cerebrum is still moving it is still in motion this is the same stage when you enter pranayama in yoga practice you feel a stationary body but inside that stationary body there is a vibrating mind we have discussed this in our uh, video on pranayama when you are at the center you may stand you may sit you may fall down on the ground do whatever you like but give yourself a complete relaxation there should be no tension in your body there should be no tension in your mind be relaxed fall down do not resist any change that your body is going to make do not resist any change that your mind is going to make flow in the change and flow with that change stay at the center as long as you feel like it and this takes you deep in meditation this opens the gate to enter your inner consciousness that is your subconscious mind this labyrinth meditation has opened the gate of that subconscious mind enter it after completion of your rest at the center you may rise up slowly just walk out of the center and while going back take the same course of paths but in a reverse direction feel faithful towards the labyrinth when you are exiting the labyrinth you feel totally grateful to this structure to that deity to yourself and to the entire cosmos it has filled you with a great energy and that energy has vibrated your inner self it has started gathering the cosmic energy inside it it is a state of joy and you now lost in that state of joy it is all yours a labyrinth is devised spiritually to bypass your logic inside a labyrinth sometimes you feel yourself very near to the center but as you move towards more uh, towards the center you feel that you are away from the center it is against your routine knowledge in this figure the point 1 is the farthest point from the center but looks very close to it if you see it uh, across the corner that it looks very near to the center similar to the point 2 point 2 appears to be farther than the point 1 from the center but approach wise it is closer to the center similarly point 3 Point three appears the farthest point out of point one, two, and three. But approach-wise, point three is the closest point to the center. It is a spiritual practice to defeat the intellect. 
this uh, labyrinth meditation is a spiritual practice to defeat your logic and intellect and it allows the awakening of a deeper perception this deeper perception is from your subconscious mind it is far beyond the reason but quite near to the center the center of your existence the labyrinth shows that life is not really linear it is not always as smooth as we think nevertheless the center is always here in the midst of all the twists and turns the labyrinth is indeed a beautiful imagery of the mystery of life now you may subscribe to this channel for latest updates of videos and uh, other information this will facilitate you a convenience in searching videos from the channel by the time we meet next time goodbye